The following video presents the new features in Switch 12, Update 1, and Update 2. Because the changes were limited, there was no separate movie when Update 1 was released. As usual, in a new release, there were a few bug fixes, but the main feature was the implementation of a fix for the Heartbleed security issue. In April 2014, it was all over the news. A weakness in the OpenSSL encryption algorithm used by HTTPS, among others, was detected. It was quickly remedied, but it required an update of all the software relying on the flawed version of OpenSSL. Switch was potentially affected because HTTPS is being used when communicating with Switch from the Internet. This is the case when using the Switch web services and when Switch clients or connectors made with ConnectU connect all, or connect send, connect directly into switch from the internet. It was, of course, vital for users in any one of these situations to have a fix as soon as possible. Modifications to flows have always been immediate. There was an undo function, but there was no possibility to go back to the state of the flow when you started editing it. Now you have the save flow and revert flow buttons. When you start modifying a flow, the name is shown in italics and there is an asterisk at the end of the name. When you are done editing, you click Save Flow. And should you not be happy with your modifications, just hit Revert Flow and you will be back in the previous saved state of the flow. Please note that you cannot activate a flow that has not been saved. When you try to do so, you will see a message and an option to save the flow. There are two important changes that improve the readability of a flow. You can give a color to the folders and connections in the flow, and you can define a description for every folder, every element, and every connection. To give a folder or connection a color, you simply select it and you select the color from the drop-down list. Alternatively, you right-click and you pick the color from the list. This is very useful to make certain folders easily recognizable. You could, for example, Put the folders where you attach a piece of information like a job state in blue. You could give a color to all the folders that are not auto-managed, and so on. Even in a complex flow, you would easily recognize the folders of a certain type. In the case of the connections, you could always use the same color for connections that have the condition All Other Jobs. In the folders, elements, or connections description, you can elaborate how and why the flow was built the way it is. As these descriptions are shown as tooltips, even on an activated flow, just hold the mouse over an element for a moment. You actually have a complete documentation of the flow. This will make it a lot easier for you to remember what you did and why when you have to make modifications to the flow. There was already a word configurator on Windows and Mac OS X, and now we have added configurators for Excel and PowerPoint, however, on Windows only. The options of the configurators are self-explanatory. Please note the ability in the PDF export of the PowerPoint configurator to output the presentation not only as slides, but also as handouts. The way in which the Excel configurator creates a PDF requires some attention. The minimum page size that is being created is A4. When the worksheet is too wide, the width of the output is adjusted and the height is adjusted, so it has the same ratio as that between the width and height of an A4. When necessary, multiple pages will be created. When the file has multiple worksheets, they are all output in the same file consecutively. Note that every sheet can have its own size. When a worksheet has a print area defined, that area is taken into account. In the Variables pane, there is a new group. Office. This group of variables gives you access to the metadata that is embedded in Office files, in exactly the same way as this was already the case for image files and PDF files. Here you see a sample Word file and the number of pages in the file, a PowerPoint file and the number of slides it has, an Excel file and its author. All these variables are, of course, available for building conditions and for being used in text with variables. The Add Version Number property of Output Folders, Archive Hierarchy, and FTP Send now has an additional property, Separator, so you can choose what character is used in between the name proper and the version number. 
the pages per file property of the split PDF element now has support for variables and script expressions. If you want to split a PDF in two, for example, you can now do that with the calculation feature of the switch group of variables. From the PDF stats, you take the number of pages and you divide it by two. So this 32-page PDF file gets split into two 16-page files. Thank you for watching this video and have fun with the new features in Switch 12 Update 2.